All right, we are back. Let me take a look here. Okay, so little caveat with uh, this. <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I decided to move on a little bit. I wanted to see if I could beat Zio, and I could. Uh, but then I was like, well, let me see how, what, what I could get done. And, you know, maybe we could backtrack if there's like a grip of story or something like that. I could go revisit it. Uh, so I played a little bit further after the Zeo battle and there's a couple different save slots with this game. There's three of them. And I figure, well, I'll have the old, uh, save file right before the Zeo fight. And, you know, I'll, I'll go back to that one when I resume the stream, but on the second one, I'll have, like, the one where we're a little bit further ahead. We could cover the story uh, on the old save file and then load up the new one once we're past all the story. Well, it was a good idea in theory, but when I actually put it into practice, um, <clears throat> the game just deleted the old save file, and I didn't have a means to actually get back to it. So <laughs> the save file that we're currently on is actually quite a bit uh, maybe about an hour uh, after where we left off last time. This is unfortunately after the Zeo fight and uh, some pretty big story elements. But eh, I did say when I started this game that it wasn't maybe going to be completely done on stream. So, you know, you only have yourself to blame. <laughs> if you were actually relying on that to be the case. It's unfortunate. I probably would have liked to have done all this game on stream, especially after finding out that it's not as long as uh, it was purported to be before I actually started it. So, oh well. But yeah, just one of those things. I'll try to summarize as best I can what actually happened. We'll see uh, how, how good of a job I can do with it. Again. Put me in. Let me start. Yeah, okay, I got excited for a second. I'm like, did it come back? I forgot that I actually saved in the first slot again. Uh, Alright, so here's what happened. We, we defeated the Zeo. Everybody celebrated, and then Zeo was like, oh, Dark Force, how could you forsake me? And then the Dark Force came out and, like, vaporized him or whatever. And um, I'm trying to remember what even happened. I was kind of skipping through it because I'm like, eh, I'll read all this stuff when we get back on stream. Um, so I, I didn't get quite everything, but um, basically Zeo was defeated. The computer was interfaced by uh, Demi, I believe, the robot girl that we got. So she went to interface with the computer. She needs to remain inside the computer. So she's no longer part of the party. Um, however, it was disclosed that we needed to go to a satellite to fix something in the satellite, which would then restore systems back on the planet. Uh, so we did that. We met some big guy that's like half cyborg or something. He joined up in the party. He apparently knew who Demi was. And then I think we were flying back to the planet and there was just like some guy hanging out in there and he's like, oh no, I've been found. And then he attacked us uh, and then we killed him. And somebody accidentally hit some primary component of the ship, and then the ship went down, and we crash landed on an alien planet. And then there was all these aliens, and we crashed into one of their temples, uh, and one of the priests was saying, "Oh yeah, I think we might have an interstellar ship somewhere here on the planet. I can show you where it is, but I need to join your party because I'm curious about what you guys are doing." So. That's all what happened. So now we're on this icy planet. Uh, we've got the big cyborg guy, and we've got the alien priest man, who I don't even remember what their names are. What are their names? Um, Ren, I th yeah, Ren is the cyborg man, and Raja or Raha, I don't know what it is. I think it's Raja. He is the uh, the priest guy. Uh, but basically, we're looking for whatever site he was talking about and hopefully we could find another ship that's capable of you know space flight I think it's an interstellar flight I don't think we're necessarily going interstellar I think it's just we need something that can get out into space which isn't 
something terribly common on this planet. So that's that, that's about as best as I could sum it up, I think. And there's a place called Tyler here. This is Tyler. It's a Parmanian town. I guess the people on here are Parmanians? I don't know. We're kind of figuring it out as we go along at this point. There's a large grave in the outskirts of town. They say it's the grave of the first chief of this village. I'm sure the old man would know more about it. Yeah, there would have been, but the guy moved. Huh, my wife. She gets to stay home nice and warm. She should see what it's like to have to go out hunting in this weather. Also, these people, I think, consider fire sacred to a degree. I don't know. One, somebody, I think Chaz, made a comment on someone's fire, and then Raja was like, Oh, yeah, fire's great around here. So, <laughs> I guess that means it's holy. I don't know. Uh, there are other Parmenian towns besides this one, but I've never been to one. You see, I just can't stand the cold weather. I don't get out of the house too often, much less go traipsing out of town. I I hear traipsing within my family, and I'm sure I've used it quite a bit, but I don't think I've ever, like, read traipsing, ever, <laughs> in, like, a game or uh, the book, otherwise, whatever. Protecting the household is an important job, too. I respect both my father and mother. Our mom is pathetic. On the other hand, our dad is wonderful. <laughs> The duality of man. Here lies the great leader Tyler. Touch us, listen to our voice, and trust that body to us. What is this inscription? Yeah, that sounds a little creepy. No, 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 touching, no body and trusting. Not yet. Gotta get to know each other first. Okay, I guess Parmanians are, like, the human-looking people, and then the alien people are something else. I don't know what they are. I think I'm good on items. I don't know. I'll figure out what we're good on once we get through all this. I hate this snowstorm. I feel like my hat is going to be blown away. Such a nuisance. Well, we wouldn't want that, would we? Everybody here sells silver stuff. Let me take a look at something real quick. Okay. Volume's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, alright. We're still on Psy? I'm guessing Psy is worse? Rune has a silver mantle and a silver circlet. Based armor. Ren's got that. Silver circlet and mantle. Okay, so we're good on the magic casters, Raja and Rune. That's damned expensive, so I'm guessing it's probably gonna be better. I guess I'll get this stuff. I don't think anybody uses a shield right now. Eh, why not? Two points. Alright, that's a little bit better. I was like, if it's just two points, I'm gonna be disappointed. Alright, that's fine. Better than, it's weird that, I don't know, maybe silver stands for something else, or silv stands for something else, but it's weird that silver is better than plasma. <laughs> you think the plasma would be uh, the stronger thing. Actually, wait a second, it is. Holy shit! Oh, wait, never mind. Wait, no, 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 okay, plasma field is a, uh... Okay, I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay, psi mail is what we had. Plasma field is not the uh, armor. That's a, uh, shield, I guess. Pulse laser... Psycho one, okay.
guess I'm probably not going to use that. I haven't really had a... If Han was in the party, but Han hasn't been in the party for a while. No, not that. That won't do. Ceramic sword, ceramic knife, and silver rod. He's got plasma sword. Shit, I don't know if that'd be better or worse. He's got a force cane? I just got the silver rod. Alright, I guess we'll give it a try. I get the feeling like the ceramic sword, maybe not so much. I guess I could have switched out, switched out uh, Raj's for the Psycho Wand and see if uh, the runes was any worse or better. Actually, wait a second. Oh, here we go. Oh shit, it's worse. metal called Laconia. With Laconia, you can make weapons and armor that is out of this world. We haven't caught up with refining techniques here, so the best we can do is make low-grade silver. Uh, so they even acknowledge it, but somehow their low-grade silver is better than space-age plasma. Whatever. I wonder if we can use, uh, no, not that. Can't use a Land Rover. I just like the look of this, and then the music is pretty rad too. I get the feeling, since it's an item that you can sell, that I guess if you run out of HP or whatever for this thing, you probably end up losing it, unless you could get back to another like station. The only thing is, is the is. Hold on, let me see. Let's do another battle. I don't think you get experience for doing battles inside the rover. I think that's like the big trade-off. Oh no, we got experience. I don't know, maybe there isn't a trade-off then. <laughs> Unless it's an experience dock. Yeah, and in either case, I mean, obviously it'd be a lot worse if we didn't get any experience at all, but it would suck more if um, there was no experience whatsoever, but it would still be pretty bad if uh, it was an experienced doc while being in this thing, but I, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. It makes traversal a lot faster, which is nice, and again, I, I like the music and everything. Is this really just a dead end? on foot and see if there's anything we could do. You know, I haven't come up with new macros, I don't think. Maybe. Hold on. Let's, let's try something, I guess. Oh no, they still work. Oh, shit.
Alright, it's a technique. Actually, at this point, it'd probably be best if we started using G res on everything. Surprise! The fire didn't work. Okay, good. I'm like, so I would hope that the blizzard does. If it doesn't, then that means they're weak uh, or strong against magic. And there ain't jack shit out here. I've come down this way. Oh my god, what is that? Let's talk. I have to find the spaceship Raja told us about. So that means we're going uh, to the town of Tyler, northwest of Raja Temple. Before we do that, why don't we take a little break at the inn at Ruin? You'll be able to hear a lot of fun stories. You won't regret it. Ha ha. Great. <laughs> well, we went to Tyler, uh, and there didn't seem to be anything there for us, so maybe Ruin will actually. Uh, I don't know. Initiate something. This is Tyler, right? Okay, so I, I don't have any clue where Ryuan is. Oh, don't give me that. Can't use the rover just because we're standing on the town. Oh boy. I'm getting a little worried when it comes to like multiple enemies like this because it gives them a much more chance to actually damage this thing out. We got a level up there. Alright, we found Ryuan. This is Ryuan. If you want to have fun, this is the town. I just can't avoid this town when I'm passing by. Haha. <laughs> the owner of the bar is named Yuna, and he knows the most about the situation around these parts. If you want to know something, that's where you should go. Two fists is the best situation. It's so nice to sit by the fire and listen to Gyuda's stories. The inn is our source of relaxation. I guess I'm looking for the inn then. Here it is. Wait, there ain't nothing here. I guess. Well, nothing happened. Maybe there's another inn. Oh, you're a Parmanian. Are you from the town of Tyler? It looks like they've flapped all the way here from Otavia. Ah, well, you cut it out, you old fart. That's right. I was trying to think of the name of the planet. I'm like, did they even disclose it? Oh, here is the the bar thing. Oh, I was wrong. Please come back. He's a maudlin drunk. What a pain. I heard they have really good drinks here, so I traveled far to come here. But the snowstorm has blocked the roads with ice, and I can't get home. Hey, What are you doing? Boy, you're suspicious looking lot. You're making my drink go sour. Don't get too close. People 
But from all over does all this come here to talk of all sorts of things. Yuna listens to all this and passes the information on. This is where people's ideas gather and are disseminated. And disseminated also isn't a <laughs> word that you hear or use too often either. The owner here is Gyuna. Uh, the owner here, Gyuna, is very knowledgeable, but he has a terribly old-fashioned accent. Oh God, I wonder what that could be. Oh my, a first-time customer. Ah, you're friends of Raja. In that case, I'll tell you anything. What do you want to know? You want to know about the damage from the snowstorm? Uh, do you want to know about the uh, Garuburk Tower? Sure. It's said that a tower somewhere in Dizolis, where do demons live, as the story goes, the tower suddenly appeared overnight. That's it. It's those demons who are destroying the universe. Olga was under a curse. Could what Raja says be true? That I don't know. But Raja's being what he is, uh, Raja being what he is, he may be sensing something. And you have no idea at all where the Garuburk Tower is? All who've seen it say something different. All I could say is that it's up north somewhere. I see. Is there <laughs> no other things you could talk about? Let's see what the damage is. Snowstorm started three months ago and hasn't stopped since. It's been a terrible disaster. Hats being blown off all over the place and lips getting chapped. Oh, yeah, that sounds terrible. Hats? Lips? Ahem. But the biggest problem is the wall of ice. The storm has left snow drifts all over the place and has created walls of ice. This has divided Dizolus up into parts. We can't get anywhere. I guess. I've known him a long time. He's a weird one, but he's a skilled magician. He was well liked at Gumbius Temple. Wow, I can't believe it. That old freak? <laughs> he's right. It's two feet away from you. But he was tricked by those who were jealous of him, and he was banished to this rural place. Really? Doesn't seem possible. Actually, Raja himself is quite happy that he was able to get away from the constrained temple. He's a good guy. He's a good friend of mine. All right, we'll see. Yes, the whereabouts of the spaceship. Are you talking about the spaceship that is underground in the town of Tyler? I don't know a lot about it, but apparently, if you take a good look at the grave, a path will open for you. A grave? I'm gonna go through all this dialogue every time in case there's something else. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> that was it. We got all of it. No, thank you, sir. I don't know if there's anything else here I need to take a look at. No, there's another shop. Kind of look like the Grinch. Oh, Force Cane and Silverod. Okay, so I already got those guys' weapons here. I'm guessing uh, with these people, they uh, only ever use magic for combat. Alright, well, let's take a look at the grave again, I guess, and see if there's anything else we could do with it. Close look, you say? There's a plate here. What a big crypt. So, this is Tyler's grave. Lying alone. What a horrible fate. Guna said to inspect this grave closely, but I don't see anything. There's just this inscription. Ah! The plate just moved. It moved? Chaz, push it again. Okay. Uh, wow, incredible. Maybe there's a spaceship down there? Let's go see. Uh, can we save here? Oh, I forget, but you could actually, like, save in towns. I'm so used to the concept of, like, having to step outside of a town in order to save. You just can't save inside dungeons. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're just flies. Fireflies. Ugh. Yeah, we've seen these things before. Big veiny toads. It's a different colored slug than the one we've seen before. I wonder if it has the same sort of uh, experience output. But it's as big as the ones that are like combined. Oh god. 103 damage. Jesus. Alright. Ah. Uh, man, it did a shitload of damage. We're a lot further than that one cave, but one of those combined slugs gave out 400 experience. I feel like if I had milked that for a while, I probably could have gotten to a decent level, like higher than maybe even in like the 30s or something like that. Probably would have had to stand there a while. Wait, what? Oh, he's a cyborg. Or whatever, he's a robot man. Do you have... Okay. He has a skill. Yeah, he's got recover. Good. So, just like Demi then. person. And it's not even that Raja had lost all that much health. Why is that chest open? Um, he just doesn't have a whole lot of health to begin with. One! The hell you say? At least we got it on the rebound. There it is. So this is it. Amazing. So this is the spaceship that the Parmenians used in coming here so long ago. Here's an emblem. L-A-N-D-A-L-E. -A -A -E. Landale. It's called a Landale. What a cool name. Ah, air going barge. A space sled. So, how is it? Hey, Ren. Hey, don't ignore me. We call them spaceships. It's been preserved. Almost perfectly. With a little maintenance, it could be perfectly useful. Oh, we sure are in luck. Ren, make preparations for takeoff. Roger. I guess that's it then. Didn't seem like, I mean, we went all the way around here. It didn't seem like there was a whole lot going on. I think that heals us. Okay, so we have different, like, planetary systems that we could get into. I'm kind of curious, though. It's like, down here, I don't necessarily want to leave just yet if there was, like, more items that we could get. I'm gonna take another peek down here. I'm sure it'll be fine. I think I tried the blizzard one last time and it didn't seem to work against them. So, Firestorm. Oh, good. I'm actually weak to that. 
Those frogs will give you a run for your money. They uh, can do some pretty decent damage and like paralyze you and stuff. Zerk gear. Made of the Zircon, I suppose. Who can equip that? Maybe Ren? Oh, yeah. Oh, that is a piece of head armor. Eh, surprise attack. I'll save my MP, I guess. That still irks me that there's a treasure chest up there. <laughs> uh, I forget if we used fire on these guys last time. I feel like I used blizzard first, usually. on this guy, I guess. I don't even know what this guy's abilities are like. Saint Fire, Miracle, Adorasia, Holy Word. Yeah, let's see what that does, I guess. If I even get an opportunity to see it, yeah, I didn't. Those skills. Ah, here we go. Okay, so right into it, we got into the spaceport, and I guess we're good to go. Oh, that was a weird noise. Where do we need to go? <laughs> Hold on. Well, we found the Landale, so we'll just have to go to Koran, okay. We have to go to the Koran. Finally! That's immediately identify reason, uh, wait, identify reason. That's immediately identify reason the environmental control system is out of control. That, I don't know that that sentence made any sense. Okay, let's go. <laughs> it's like, I do a double take there for a second. I'm like, uh, does it make sense now? Okay, yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. Artificial satellite, Kuran. So, this is the artificial satellite, Kuran, that has sent the entire planetary control system out of whack. My head is out of whack. Man, am I dizzy. Come on, let's go. Yes, we must hurry to the main control center. You, you. Yeah, nobody, nobody pays attention to Raja. He's been in the party, but nobody seems to care for him or anything that he's doing. I guess we'll just see what... It's a surprise attack. So I'll get a good read on how strong these things are. Float mine. You'd think that they wouldn't have that much HP. Cyber troopers or something. Let's see if they're weak or strong against fire. Eh, they seem pretty strong. Although they don't have a ton of HP. HP. I 
this rune is probably taking the biggest hits. Command ball. Oh, this is the one that's a little bit tougher. Uh, I might have made a mistake, depending on how many attacks I can get in. Well, maybe not. Got a lot of defense. And the uh, encounter rate is just a little bit much. Warning! Ah, oh, shit. Hello, what's this? It's an internal weapon unit for androids. I surmise that it is a hyperjammer. Hyperjammer? It is a weapon that temporarily scrambles the AI of machines with strong electromagnetic waves. There seems to be no incompatibility in its specification, so let's install it. Device installed. Hyperjammer can now be used. Nice. Is that a technique or something? Does he have to, like, equip it? We went all up that way through all of the battles just to get it because it seems like it might be important. You'd think, I mean, I don't know, maybe it's just a fancy opening box, but it looks like a cardboard box to me, the treasure chests, when you're in, like, the satellites and the futuristic-looking areas. You'd think that up all this way, with how advanced they are, they would have, like, very super futuristic-looking containers or something, but I don't know, to me, it just looks like a cardboard box. <laughs> cardboard is the future, I guess. an amount of experience. I'll have to forgive my curiosity when it comes to exploring these areas, because I'll go up and I'll investigate to see if there's anything I can get. Finding items really does pay off. You usually find much better weapons than anything you can get in the shops at the current you know, given time. And then sometimes there's stuff like that last one we found where it was like the scrambler or whatever. It's like, all right, seems like it might be important. Eh. I'm gonna manual this one. Oh, I also wanted to check. High jammer, okay, so it is a technique that he can use. use it once at this particular time, though.
time I come across a path like this, it seems like we run into some kind of boss battle, so it's gonna be prepared. Although we haven't really ventured that far into this thing, so it might not be for a minute until we hit whatever boss is in here. I'm assuming that there's probably gonna be one. Sea Ray Tube. We can do a double slash. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like the robots are strong against fire and ice type stuff. See if we can see what Holy Word does. Never mind. I think I'm just gonna have to look up a guide, if I can even find one on what the hell these abilities even do. Way to miss there, Chief. It's already open. What is this deal? That just gets me upset. <laughs> like... This is the second one we've seen this stream where there's just like an empty, already open treasure chest. What gives? Holy shit, they killed Raja. You bastards. It's alright, somebody's gotta know something. Uh, uh, some, I think somebody... Okay, Reaver. Yeah, is the one we need, but Rune's got it. I don't want to use it with Chaz, because Chaz has low enough TP as it is, so... If Rune has an ability that we can utilize, I'll have him do it. His TP pool is a lot bigger. Defensive power, that's good. Son of a bitch, he doesn't even know any, like, healing magics. money. It's a decent amount, but I don't know if it's worth going through all these battles for. And 
there is a door over here, but then there's like a whole other path that we ended up missing. So I don't know if I want to go back that way or what. <laughs> Shit, I don't, I don't even know where I'm going at this point. Feeling a little bit lost. I had a good idea of mapping it out, but that last elevator... Oh boy. looks different. Looks unique. guys are like really wheel, uh, weak. They do not have a whole lot of HP. Kind of looking final area-ish. So, this is the main control center? I shall search for the cause of the malfunction right away. Wait, what's that? What? Where? Over there, in the shadows. Ah, whatever. I was questioning if I wanted to even use the TP for this, but... I ain't gonna chance it. What on earth? This feeling of oppression. Dark Force! Did you say Dark Force? You mean the Dark Force who revived Zeo as a god? It appears that Dark Force is the cause of everything. Let us remove it. Easier said than done. Okay, I'm going for it. Oh boy. It is dark. Oh yeah, there it is. See if there's a guide. Hold on. I don't know. I've been getting a good feel for some of the characters and what they, you know, are capable of with their spells and everything. But every once in a while. Especially with a lot of these ones. I, I take a look at these skill lists, and I'm like, I, I don't know what this is. Um, okay, so... Suzan, Anti, Githu, Gizan. What is Gizan? Damage to all enemies. Rose, instant defeat to all enemies. That's not gonna work. Githu is damage to one enemy. I'm seeing if he's got anything... Sue is damaged to one enemy. I'm seeing if he's got anything like for stat boosting. I think the first round it's probably important to uh, probably buff ourselves up a little bit. I don't think he could do anything though. Let's see what this Githu does. Saner. Oh boy. So ruin is another one. Uh, damage, 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 damage. He has one, like, looks like, well, 
He's got Reaver, which resurrects, but he's also got um, arrows, which I I tried before. You know, you'd think arrow would be like maybe a an arrow like spell, casts a bunch of arrow projectiles at the enemy. No, it removes sleep from all allies. All right, fair enough. Yeah, it looks like all of rune stuff is all damage dealing. So nothing really all that great for this particular situation. Barrier. I want that one. Actually, hold on. I wonder if the high jammer would work in this situation. Let's it's a boss battle, I'll try it. Rim it. Let's see what Raja could do. Oh, good. The wiki I'm using doesn't uh, have uh, his list of skills or anything. Great. It's always fun. I'm just gonna do seals, we'll see what that does. Saner, does agility up. Hyper jammer. Doesn't seem to do anything. Burst rog. Oh my god. Is there a ability that heals everybody? I feel like there was Sar. Is the one we're looking for. Uh, anyway, I would like to get his attack up, but I don't think I can do that right now. Chance to defeat one enemy, never mind. Flaily, damage to one enemy. I feel like his magic spells might be better. These skills I don't think are gonna do too much. but I guess I'll try it. Ooh, it was a good one. <laughs> okay, Adoraxia is healing. So that's good. Oh my god, they brought down Chaz. Spark doesn't do what I think it does. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Balls to the wall, just trying to attack to see if we could do anything. go. Well, 
I did mention last time that I'm not a big fan of using save states, but I think in the interest of saving time for the stream, and, you know, we've skipped around already, so I don't really mind it, I guess, but I'm just going to redo that. I guess we need to level up a little bit. I don't know if there's anything else we can necessarily do, though. I feel like... I mean, I could explore the rest of this area. It's not the most exciting thing. Can't really make any progress with the story or anything. See, it would've been better if I had done the Zeo fight. <laughs> that way it would've eaten up, you know, a decent amount of time. Um, but at this point, it's like I feel like maybe we're just in for the grind. This dude got some pretty good magic attacks, though. I'm surprised that Chaz... I mean, I guess he's coming into his own as the main character and everything. But... I get that actually didn't do too much damage against this thing. I guess we've seen that it, uh... <sighs> we've seen what this particular blue bot thing does have a lot of defense though, but even against the Dark Force, it was like 200 damage or something. Pretty crazy. There's not even really a good spot to get, like, heal or anything, but, yeah, it's weird with a game that doesn't have, like, save points or anything like that, it's, like, what more can you do? You have to venture through quite a bit of this to actually get to the Dark Force as well. I'm surprised I found it as fast as I did. Unfortunately, we were in a position where we could, um... heal and everything beforehand. I didn't feel like I was slacking too much on that, but... Still, some of those attacks, I, th I think it might just be a defense thing. I mean, probably just too low level. Similar situation, it's like, it's a very similar setup with Zeo. Because we went through like a whole similar kind of thing, similar looking area, and then came up against him and he was just a little bit too much, and then... Off stream, I did a bit of grinding and then came back to him and defeated him pretty handily. Oh shit, I just went right back onto this thing. <laughs> it's actually not what I meant to do. I didn't even heal or anything, god damn it. I was just like wandering in my mind aimlessly. At this point, I'm wondering, though. Because I did grind for, like, a good one, maybe two hours. Eh, maybe, eh, somewhere between there, maybe. Maybe like an hour and a half or something like that before I could end up actually beating Zio. Shit. It's just, like, at this point... This is, this is my problem with this. At this point, I think the only thing I could do is just, like, explore this area, which it, unfortunately isn't that interesting. I don't know. Maybe some people will feel differently about it, but it's like... It's a lot of the same stuff that we've seen before. Um, you know, similar types of enemies, just, like, in different colors, just a little bit stronger. And it's like, the, really, the only thing I could do is scrounge around and see if there's any good, decent weapons or armor 
that I could pick up and then try to level up uh, a tad. I mean, I probably don't need to do, I don't know, maybe not that much. Maybe by the time I find decent gear or something like that, it won't be that bad. But yeah, there's like not, not a ton I could do outside of that. And I kind of don't want to like grind on stream for like an hour and see if I could beat this thing. Um, so unfortunately, see, I've never played this game before. This is another one of those things where it's like, you're not going to know what's going to come up until you actually get to it. But um, I'm thinking I might want to just kind of like grind on my own time and then see about coming right back into the stream next time I stream this and um, just do it in the boss battle see if we could do it and then after that we'll move on from there get on to the rest of the story but yeah at this point it's just looking like it's a little bit gonna just gonna be some grinding and we'll see what we could do afterwards well, let me see What the hell? What is this shit? Alright, anyway, I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's already two, so that's about where I wanted to stop tonight anyway. Um, ended up starting up a little bit late. Because I was having audio issues, but I got everything all sorted out anyway. But I think I'm going to end it here. I don't know what the hell's going on with this rating thing. I was going to see if there was anybody I could raid, but like Twitch changed it completely. And it's like it's giving me, it's suggesting people that I don't follow, which is not really what I want to do. Um, it's not even giving me, like, people that are playing Fantasy Star games. I guess they're playing RPGs. Like, it's giving me people that are playing Tales of Vesperia and Echoes of Plum Grove, whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> um, and I don't see anybody that I'm following, so I'm guessing maybe nobody I'm following is streaming right now. What is this? I don't know. Twitch changed up the raid thing. It's kind of shitty. I don't like it. I don't want to raid people that I don't know. I ain't comfortable doing that. <laughs> the reason why I follow like an asshole of people is so that I have options. Um, I wonder if... Hold on. Let me back out and see if there's actually anybody streaming or if they're just like not giving me options. Oh, there actually isn't uh, outside of like some bigger channels. Anybody streaming right now? See, and the other thing, too, is the ones that they're giving me, the options they're giving me to raid are, like, people with, a, I don't know, like, bigger viewer counts, and it's, like, like a lot bigger, like, like, three or four times more what I've got. So, I'd like something a little bit similar. Oh, well. Man. Thank you for the follow. Um, Cien Ni... <laughs> Hey, Tonin. Is there a way you want me to pronounce that? Or <laughs> uh, It's not quite a name I'm familiar with. I appreciate that follow, though. Uh, hopefully, we'll have a better Fantasy Star stream next time. I just feel like I'm in a position where I just got to grind right now. So, maybe we'll see you back here at some other point. Or I don't know if you've been here as long as uh, me doing Stellar Blade earlier. In any case, um, yeah, it doesn't look like there's anybody... Uh, I'm following that's actually streaming right now, so that's probably why it's giving me all these weird options. Oh, uh, well, I guess we'll just end the stream here. But thank you guys for watching. Appreciate the follows. Appreciate everybody being here. Um, I will. I don't usually stream on Thursday, but since I didn't do a Monday or Tuesday stream, I guess I'll try to do a Thursday stream. We'll see about doing um, maybe some more Chrono Trigger while I try to grind away at this. But thank you guys. Uh, you all take care. Appreciate you all, and we'll see you around next time. Later.